Can I get celebrity eyes with eyelid surgery? I'm regularly sent or shown images of eyes belonging to actors, models, and even digitally crafted personas by people who want to have these ideal looking eyes for themselves. In an era dominated by social media where influencers mirror and even amplify the appearance of celebrities, the desire and pursuit of resembling another individual has gained a lot of momentum. The allure of this aspiration most often diverges from the realm of feasibility. I'll discuss the implausibility of acquiring another person's eyes and the opportunities to elevate and accentuate the unique appearance of your own eyes. I'm Dr. Amiya Prasad. I'm a diplomate of the American Board of Cosmetic Surgery and a fellowship-trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in practice in New York City and Long Island for more than 25 years. Cosmetic eyelid surgery, or blepharoplasty, can work with your existing anatomy to address various issues, such as hooded upper eyelids, the absence or, or deficiency of an eyelid crease, and drooping eyelids, which make you appear sleepy. I routinely help people with lower eyelid issues, such as under eye bags, sagging of the outer corners, as well as roundness or retraction in the lower eyelids. It is also possible to elevate the outer corners of the eyes, which we call in surgery for almond eyes. My approach when I perform eyelid surgery is to optimally enhance the natural characteristics of your eyes by working with the anatomical structures such as the skin, the fat, muscles, and tendons. An important concept to be aware of is that your bone structure is unique and helps to define the visible shape, position, and projection of your eyes. Cosmetic eyelid surgery does not involve any alteration to your bone structure. Surgery involving bone removal, for example, is like orbital decompression, which is reserved for people who have conditions such as thyroid eye disease. Essentially, a person's distinctive eyes are determined by their individual bone structure, shaping not just the eyes, but the entire facial anatomy. While features like the ears and nose are defined by underlying cartilage, the cheeks, jawline, chin, forehead, and eye position are significantly defined by your bone structure. The approach in cosmetic eyelid surgery should be to enhance the natural character of your eyes, but to still look like yourself not like someone else. We can make the eyes look brighter and even more open by reducing stretched skin that hoods over the upper eyelids, as well as working on fat behind the eyes, and it makes the eyes look heavy and weary. When I perform cosmetic eyelid surgery, my aim is to elevate your eyes natural appeal while preserving your unique appearance and, of course, making no effort to imitate someone else's eyes. By performing procedures artfully to minimize excess skin that droops over the upper eyelids and reducing the underlying fat causing a tired appearance, I'm able to enhance the brightness and openness of your eyes. For drooping upper eyelids, I routinely perform specialized surgery to address the levator muscle, which is responsible for opening your eyes to enhance symmetry and even improve vision. For individuals lacking an eyelid crease commonly found in people of Asian descent, 
a similar procedure to address excess fat and skin combined with special techniques to connect the eyelid skin with the underlying levator muscle can be very effective for eyelid crease formation. There are several ways that cosmetic eyelid surgery can help you look like the best version of yourself. The benefits can include a more youthful, energetic appearance, enhanced vibrancy, and brightening of your eyes by creating a more open and engaging look. In my opinion, the purpose of cosmetic eyelid surgery is to enhance your natural facial character, which is unique to you. Pursuing cosmetic eyelid surgery to look like someone else is not realistic due to the constraints of bone and soft tissue anatomy that is distinctively yours. I hope you found this information from my experience helpful. If you're interested in recommendations for your individual situation, you may contact us through our websites or call our offices to schedule a consultation. Thank you.